Hey, welcome to InfoGamer, and today we're going to cover how to fix a null reference exception error in our code. And these errors, errors can be pretty common when you're coding. And so let's go ahead and play our game, and we'll show you that we get this error. So here in our console, it's the first one. It says null reference exception, object reference not set to an instance. And so it's telling us this the script that's wrong, where it's where it's located in the line right here, the line number. And if you double click on it, it's gonna take you right to that line and right to what's doing triggering the null reference exception. Yeah. So right here, this is what causes our error. We've added this code just to show you this error. So we've created a new variable called go, that's a game object. And then we are looking for a game object that has the name box dude two. And because we don't have a box dude two object in our hierarchy, it returns null. So our game object go is set to null. And then we need to trigger the error by trying to manipulate or control our go variable. That's why we have the debug.log.go.name. Cool. So when it comes down to other people's code and other people's reference, null reference exceptions, they would double click and it would take them to the code that they need to fix. And also, so it might actually they might have it all typed in right here, right? But then in the, it might not be in their hierarchy. Yeah, exactly. So if you're, if you're looking for a component, so you say object.get component, and you're looking for a box collider, but the object that you're looking on doesn't have a box collider, and then you try and access that box collider afterwards, then you'll get the same error. So an easy way to fix this is before our debug.log statement, we're going to add an if statement that says if um, go does not equal null, exc the exclamation point before, then we're going to run this code. So that's all we need. You can add uh, brackets around what you want inside this if statement. And so this is saying if go it exists, if there's an object contained with inside go, then we're going to debug the, na the name. We're going to um, show what the name is in the console. Or whatever and so this should fix our null reference error oh probably need to save it let's clear our console and then we'll hit play and it works Cool. The, the way they're most likely going to need to fix it, though, is not by putting in a null, right? They're yeah. going to actually have to go find the game object that they're trying to reference and make sure it's spelled correctly, then also make sure it's actually in the game object that they're trying to find it in. Yeah. So a lot of times it could be that you're missing a component and you need to add it, and that would be the correct way to fix the problem. Or sometimes it has to do with the order in which you're writing your scripts. So you might be removing something and then looking for it, and then because you removed it previously, then it's missing, and you're getting this null reference error. Cool. So we hope that was helpful, and we we'll hope you're able to fix your code if you pull up a null reference example. Example, no reference exception, I mean. And thanks for 
Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. See ya.